seeds ready. There we go. Got a full stack of wheat seeds. And I'm going to uh, convert all of uh, these items into uh, their various seed forms. Yep, there's even mustard seed seeds. <laughs> Goofy, I know, but such is video games. Once I've got these set up, I'll figure out how to how I'll arrange them when I plant them. Alright, so we've got a bunch of farmable items there, and I planted a couple of uh, interesting tree types too. Okay, so my spider web tree already grew, and uh, there's uh, my uh, apple tree right there. They come in handy. So this is uh, pretty much how you handle these. You go for the uh, spider web fruit and you get string. I just want to make sure I get all of them. 
I'm not sure if cutting down the tree will do that automatically. Hi, wandering trader. I don't have any money for you right now, though. You want me to look at your wares anyway? I see no harm in it. Hi. Okay, I'll uh -huh. die. To... Uh, not bad. I don't need any of it, but it's nice. So, I'll just gather up all these cobweb fruits. They seem to take some time in the gathering. This saves on uh, needing a spider farm for this, but it's not the only uh, thing that the mod uh, actually provides for that. It's just very interesting to me that there's a spider web tree. That is cool. Okay, so got 12. Now let me just go in there to check something. An Enderman paid me a visit earlier. I left him well enough alone. As cool as it is to fight Endermen, <laughs> I am uh, not ashamed to say I have not mastered that art. Huh? Okay, so I've cut down this tree. Now, I'll show you how you uh, make a spiderweb sapling. So it's this simple. You go to any crafting table. You uh, take a, a sapling you've acquired and just surround it with string. I imagine it might work with cobwebs. I didn't test that, but... Doing this, you will get a spider web sapling, and then from there you just plant it. I found these things take their time in growing, so don't expect a fast result for your tree. But other than that though, it's a nice way to actually farm uh, string. And these are a nice way to get apples. They're not guaranteed, but it doesn't mean they're not welcome. Okay, so I'm going to need to craft a fence to go around that to make that area a little bit more secure. Just a tad. You know what? That's probably plenty of oak for what I need. Okay. So let me see. I believe I just take these like this. And then take these. Okay. And just take as many as I need. I 
I think that should be enough. Now, just take these back. Move these like this, and these like this. And... Get an oak fence gate. Now I should be able to surround that farm with uh, fencing. And in doing so, I'll just make it that bit much uh, more secure. Okay. There. There we go. Uh, whoops. Okay, that was a derp. Okay, we'll get this sorted out. Derpy derp. Deciding what to grow in the farm is going to be a, a bit more of a decision because I have more uh, options in crops than I can grow there. Not a bad situation that can be remedied with time, but nevertheless, it's a decision point. Oh yeah, and I have a little furry friend who wants more attention. <laughs> Cats are fun. Yes, I know, I know. I absolutely, positively must give you cuddles, Orville. Yes. I know, that is the reason for my existence, is to cuddle my cat. Uh, it's not nearly that bad. She's just so freaking adorable, but I pretty much let her bother me anytime she wants. Orville's my weakness. Hi, buddy. Oh. Some people adopt dogs and some people are adopted by cats. Hey, buddy. Hi. Aww. Oh, aren't you a sweet thing? Boop. Aww. Aww. Okay. Let me go here. I'm going to need the wheat. That's Kind of without saying. I'm gonna go on some uh, theories here. I think I might need the lettuce to attract pigs. Maybe the onions as well. Um. Going on the whole vegetable thing is probably going to be what will get me that result. And let me see here. But I'm also going to want some uh, veggies and having a nice variety of things. Bell peppers. Okay, strawberries. 
elderberries. Probably will need mustard seeds at some point. Yeah, I'll, I'll chance this loadout. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, that Enderman is still hanging around. The thing with Endermen is that you never, ever want to turn and uh, point your crosshairs in their direction. It annoys the hell out of them. When you're outfitted, yeah, be my guest because you have a chance when you have a place where they can't enter again you have a chance when you're out in the open and can be attacked from any direction don't dare look at them they are nasty when angered Kind of annoying in that they steal uh, your blocks. I'm kind of operating blind with these uh, Pam's cookbook crops. I collected all of these from the uh, same nodes, but I don't know that they all uh, work together in the same recipe tree. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the wheat I know for sure will be helpful. I think I'll need iron though to break into Pam's, which I haven't found yet. And unfortunately for me, my friend, Mr. Wandering Trader there, does not deal in iron. Uh -huh. All right. Since I can get apples uh -huh. anyway, I want to actually test to see how well this idea works. Apple fruit. Okay. So, let's say I just cut down the tree. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I can just take this and craft a new apple sapling, no problem. And I'm ahead on apples. Yeah, that's a really nice, uh, that's a really nice uh, mod uh, Pam made. So, pop a tree in there, and I should be able to put another of these to good work. Uh -huh. Huh? All right, so, oh uh, yeah, I want to actually put this close to my spider web tree. That's the uh, uh -huh. point of having torches here uh -huh. to act as a kind of accelerant for their growth. Uh -huh. It may be doing something, it may not. Uh -huh. The bamboo is going to prove useful uh, the more of this spiderweb plant uh, I get under my control. But anyway, enough of all of that. I promised you some adventuring and I'm going to actually fulfill that promise and show you what I've been up to. I 
I've found a really cool village up this way. Now I'll need the pickaxe ready. soon be experimenting to see if I can attract pigs. That'll be fun. Mm, okay, I'll need a bit of stone. I'm sure there'll be some hanging around. I'm not going to worry myself too much about it. I think I've got enough pick left. Uh, yeah, I am heavily <laughs> implying there's something cool that I'm going to uh, show with my pick. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, I go here first, and I'll just gather... some extra stone. Sorry about the lag. Just checking here to see if I can find any uh, iron close to the surface. That is coming up a negative, and there is the village I was telling you about. And this village has a nice uh, bonus. This is the gatekeeper's house. He's just outside the village, and he's got something else cool to show me. That is Lunar Stone there. That's not the same as the uh, stone I gathered uh, earlier. That is used for uh, making portals to the other dimension uh, in the Blue Skies mod pack. Or mod, I mean. It's okay. I can be running well. stone to fill this out. There we go. And now I'm all set. Well, I'll have to teleport home. this uh, lunar stone away. I've also got turquoise, which is good because that means I have the uh, run of the uh, Blue Skies mod. This is a really good uh, seed for that. haven't grown huh? that. That's okay. Don't have far to go. I want to find out what exactly is in the village because I did not uh, to open any chests while I was there. In fact, I don't even know how many chests are there. I wanted to save it for the camera. Kinda 
uh, did myself a disservice though by uh, having a little too much inventory. Yeah, I'll manage. It's no biggie. If I can't take the stuff with me, I can always get back here easily enough and uh, since I know the town's name, I just need to actually log it into their waystone. And then find another one to uh, put up my own base to create a teleport net network between them. Now, if, if you don't want to bother with that, it, doing a, a run with this uh, type of pack, you can actually set some of these uh, things up with your... Uh, uh, teleportation data packs they do let you do that so that you can set multiple places as home and pick where you want to teleport to I just want to use the uh, way zones for the networking part and the home uh, function for well going back to base so what's down there a ravine. I do not want to enter a ravine right now. Okay, let's check this place out. So it's Snakes Canyon. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll have to get some animals into there for you. I already uh, collected uh, some watermelons, so... Oh, it looks like they have animals, so that's... Uh, that's something I won't have to worry about. I'm still their absentee lord, so I have... Uh, responsibilities to keep these people safe. So I have to keep that in mind too. Uh. Okay. So I have to log Snakes Canyon here. This place is called Snakes Canyon. There we go. Okay, there's a chest. Mm, this is a nice find. I'll take the bread and another torch. The rest they can keep. Oh, wait, wait, no. No, I need the acacia saplings, too, for, for my wood pellet. All right. What's in here? Another chest. Emeralds? Yeah, I'll take them. Take these acacia saplings as well. Okay, where did the acacia? Oh, I'm being silly. Okay, I've got plenty of leaf seeds, so I can let them keep those. Um. Okay, what about here? No, I already inspected this location. if I'm overlooking something by doing that. Okay. Um, just stand aside here. Aha! I am overlooking something. And this is extremely important. Oh. No, I was
was thinking of this incorrectly, but I can still use that. So I'm not going to worry about the fact that I took that compass. There is actually a very important use for it. I can make a locator map with it. Okay. Hello, Iron Golem. That iron golem is... their protector when I'm not around. Uh, you're stuck, aren't you? Hmm. Let's see what I can do about that. Uh, hmm. I have an idea of what I can do about it. Go here and just put that right there. There you go. I'm wondering if they have any iron that's readily available. Let's test that by gathering some of this coal. Sometimes coal spawns out in the same places that iron does. So, checking this out doesn't hurt. Okay. Um, so I suppose something could, but, but it's not looking like I can expect iron there. Okay. Okay, I've got what I need. Inspection here. Okay, what kind of tree are you? Hazelnut. Yeah, I actually do need some more hazelnut. Okay. Okay, time to return home. There will be time to make another uh, hazel uh, hazelnut sapling in the morning but that will be a problem for another day
Someone